Our pick this week is the Emiliana Winemaker Selection Syrah Mouvedre 2007 Vintage from Colchagua, Chile, and it retails for $24.99. And I'm joined by Fernando Pavon from the Emiliana Winemaker. From the Welcome winery. Welcome to Chile Edmonton. Chile Edmonton, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's Chile in, in Edmonton. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I had the opportunity to, to visit the winery uh, mm. a few years ago when uh, I was judging at the Wines of Chile Ward, and I was so impressed not just by the quality of the wines, but by the whole philosophy of, of the winery. Tell us a little bit about Emiliana and the philosophy of the sustainability and the organic and the biodynamic production. Because mm -hmm. organic and biodynamic tend to be used as, I think, buzzwords a little bit uh, nowadays, but uh, you can see, when I, when I visited the property, you could tell that this is something that you really believe in. Yeah, well, it's well. First of all, thanks for the opportunity to share a glass with you. Uh, it's quite chilly in Edmonton, and well, about Emiliana. Emiliana, it's a um, relatively new winery, founded in 1986, and really at the early 90s, uh, our winemaking department, farming department, they did realize that the industry it's really having serious problems. Everybody's doing the same things, using the same pesticide, herbicides, DNA material in the vines, uh, vinification techniques. So really at the very end, we are losing the character and the expression of a place, the personality in the wine. That really wine geeks and consumers, even more average consumers are getting into these wines uh, that, rep that represent a sense of place. And we truly think that the best way to approach and get to a truly fingerprint of a place is through respect of nature, sustainable farming, organic, and even deeper in the biodynamic approach. This concept of sustainability, it's really, it's kind of a tattoo that we have every employee at Emiliana, because we honestly think that it's the most truly expression to reflect terroir or character, personality, as I like to say, in a bottle of wine. We are unique. We do organic, we do biodynamic, but also we make unique wines. You don't see many Mouvedre wines in Chile. Our idea is to try to really break this, the, the parameters of farming in Chile, break the idea that all wines need to have a base of Cabernet from Maipo. We really want to be different and show the beauty of Chile. The beauty of Chile is a mosaic of terroir. It's diversity on places such as San Antonio, Elqui, Bio Bio, uh, and also showcase that we do have several type of varietals that can handcraft beautiful wines such as this Sira Movedre. I think that's probably one of the, the greatest uh, factors in the evolution of the Chilean wine industry over the last decade or so is this understanding of the diversity of yeah. microclimates uh, and what grapes grow best in what areas. Uh, and you produce wines in, in various regions. In Multiple regions in Chile, yeah. We farm today 1,100 hectares, all of them officially certified organic biodynamic, uh, divide them in nine different states. From Limari, which is the fourth region, about 380 to 400 kilometers north of Santiago, to Bio, Bio that it's the southest most uh, wine appellation we have in Chile. Uh, going, touching San Antonio, Maipo, Colchagua, really to showcase this uh, beauty of Chile, diversity. Uh, a big palette of appellations, a big palette of varietals uh, delivering complex wines and wines with, uh, with character. Right. I, I, I like to use the word character and personality instead of using the word terroir. Now, Chile is a country that is relatively isolated because of its geography. Yes. Uh, ocean, mountain, ocean, desert, Ocean, mountain, desert, desert and glaciers, yeah. And because of that, um, you're not subject to a lot of the same vineyard diseases that other parts of the world are, yes. which helps in the, the whole lot. sustainability and the organic and biodynamic philosophy. Are you finding that more wineries are going this route? Well, yes, we are, we are quite proud to say that we are leading the wave of sustainability in Chile. Um, I don't mind talking about other big wineries, for example, uh, La Postol, with a beautiful Closa Palta. We are training them 
on biodynamic for the apalta state, also Rasuris is going deeper on biodynamic, uh, Matetic in San Antonio is going deeper in biodynamic, uh, the Martino is starting to do some beautiful things with the uh, wines on Tinajas, uh, also doing organic biodynamic and more importantly besides motivating other vintners, it's that we have motivated the trade. We have motivated the Wines of Chile organization to really work deeply on a sustainable code for Chile. With those advantages that you just mentioned, our insulation, desert, glaciers, mountains and ocean, we can be proud that in the short future, mostly all the wines from Chile will be totally sustainable. We are working in that direction. And I love how your philosophy you can taste the quality in the wines, but I love how the philosophy also extends to the the personnel at the winery as well. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> we saw the uh, the communal garden that yeah uh, the orchards for your the exactly. orchards yeah. and, uh, and and so it, it's great that that philosophy seems to extend to the individuals as well yeah. and not just uh, limited to to the vine. Well, it's very the the success. Of every, of every enterprise, of every project, it's human resources. Uh, if we are not uh, happy uh, on our working place, we will not work as good as we will do it if we are happy. Uh, Chile it's a country that is still on a way of development. There's a lot of people that live on the countryside that don't have all the possibilities that people from the cities has. So at Emiliana we have uh, developed some programs as the orchards program, the, co the communal gardens, where we gave six square meters to each of the workers at Emiliana. And they run these orchards, they do it organic, they do it biodynamically, and they get produce for average a family of two adults, two kids, that they can supply that table with veggies all year long, knowing what to plant in summer, what to plant in winter, how to harvest, etc. And to me, the most attractive thing of that project, it's what happened on Saturdays. The families go on Saturdays to the winery and they go with the kids because the kids are not in school on Saturday. So the beauty is we are, we hope that we are manipulating a little bit the new habits of these people. It's very hard to change your habits and my habits, but the habits of younger generations, they are doing it organic, they are doing it biodynamically, and they are getting fresh, smelly, tasty products that are bringing it home. And that's another beautiful element uh, that we are changing the perception of new generations. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go ahead and taste one. Yeah. Well, this is uh, 2007. It's a spectacular vintage for Chile. Uh, right here we have about uh, 70 to 75 percent Sida, 25 to 30 percent Muvedre. Uh, Muvedre is a varietal that's being widely planted in Chile, but always being used as a blending grape, mm -hmm. 2 percent, 3 percent. This wine is fully native yeast ferment on stainless steel tanks, and then it goes to uh, an aging, depending on the logical criteria, for around 12 to 14 months using a, a broad palette of Coopers from France, uh, Taranso, Seguin Moreau, uh, and a little bit of uh, American. Really, it's a wine that delivers lots of amplitude on the nose. I love the, the, the amount of fruit. Yeah, the fruit, it's explosive, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Syrah comes through immediately. There's lots of white peppers on the nose. The texture on the palate, it's big, but it's soft at the same time. And you get a good tannicity that it's coming out of the fruit. You get a dryness on your palate and the acidity right away pff, clean that palate, making it very fresh. It's a nice craft wine, Sida Muvedre 2007 from Emiliana Winery. And we're quite happy to share this glass with Gurvinder here at Vinomania. <laughs> salute for Edmontonian, salute for Canada, salute for Chile. What, uh, what would you recommend for food pairings? Oof, this is a very versatile wine. I, I'm a huge fan of lamb. Lamb with this wine will pair Amazingly, some rosemary marinate, marinated. Uh, There's a lovely savory quality in the wine itself. Yes, yeah. 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 It's uh, some gamey meat as well here yeah. for Canadians. Uh, venison, deer, moose, bison. Uh, bison, bison, yeah, bison quite well. Pick again this week is the Emiliana Winemaker Selection Sierra Muvedra 2007 Vintage from Colchagua, Chile. And it retails for $24.99. Fernando, cheers. Salud.